Okay, welcome to the first part of the acrylic pour. My name is Chris, and I'm going to introduce you to acrylic pouring. In front of you, you see a canvas, and then you see five cups of paint. What I'm doing is, I am literally taking paint and pouring it in. You just need a little bit. About that much. With that much paint in a cup. Do okay, that, that, and do a silver. Two to three teaspoons of paint in your cup. We are going to be using. glue, all glue, school glue, in the segment, in all of the segments. I have it in this glass, already filled. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pour about 30% into each cup. Now what the glue is used for, two different things. It is used to thin out the paint so you don't have to use a whole lot, which is expensive. And it uses as a thinner to thins out the paint as well. It is also a drying agent. It allows your paint to dry quicker than just the paint alone. Now I'm going to fill this back up. So that is the consistency of what we're looking for as far as your paint and glue as a start. The next thing we want to do is we want to take water, normal water, and we want to pour about two tablespoons into each glass. Not too much, not much more than that, and not any thinner than that. And then we want to go in and go ahead and stir each one separately. And the mixture has to be 100% complete. You can't have any glue and paint showing. You just want to have completely all the paint mixed together. Now the thinness, or I should say the thickness of the paint, needs to be about a little thicker than milk in order for the pour to work correctly. You'll notice that there is a little bit of glue on the side. That is okay. Go ahead and scrape that. It's like basically making a cake. You want to scrape the edges. You want to make sure that you get it all stirred in. Now the consistency of the paint needs to be just about like that. You can see that, I'll bring it up to the camera. The consistency of the paint needs to run just about like that. So 
So we're going to go ahead and do that to each one. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to fast forward this video now. So I have my lubrication paint here. It can be white, it can be black, it's preferred to be a white because it's going to disappear and allow the paint to go over the whole canvas. So I chose white and I'm going to pour my glue in it as well. And then I'm going to pour more water because it needs to be thinner than these paints. And I'm going to show you why. Go ahead and make sure that is completely stirred in. Okay, we're almost there. If it's chunky, you want to keep going. You don't want chunks. Just keep testing it. Oh, every so often, keep testing it, keep testing it. Okay, go ahead and check that out. And that's a good flow. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and pour it right onto the canvas. And just let it go. You can pour it around circles, big circles, whatever you really want to do. That's fine. Just empty that whole cup. Okay. There's different ways to do this, but we want to make sure that it's all covered. You can use your hand and cover it. You can take a brush and just swipe it. If you don't want to get your hands dirty, that's fine. And during this, you want to make sure you're always wearing latex gloves. You don't want to get paint on your hands, or if you're wearing any rings, take your rings off. But you want to make sure that this is really soupy. It goes across. Make sure you cover the whole thing. I'm going to use a brush in this demo. And you want to make sure that you get all the sides. You want to make sure that you get this side and this side. Make sure it goes over the edges. And it does not have to be thick on top. Just cover that whole thing. Any other thing I do stress is make sure that your table is level and not at an angle because your paint will travel to that edge of the canvas over and over and you will be pretty frustrated because it is not turning out at all the way you thought. We're almost there. You're doing a good job. Make sure it is all covered. It is going to be sloppy. You are okay. It is going to be sloppy. 
Now what I'm going to do is I am actually going to use my hand in this and I'm actually going to place it straight down and I'm going to move it around. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use my hand to remove the excess paint because we don't need this. Like I say we're just using this for lubrication making sure that the paint will flow accordingly. Now you're probably asking yourself why don't you use water? Well I'll tell you why you don't want to use water. Water is um, it's too thin. It's, it's a rep it can literally acts like a repellent. And it can literally, instead of the paint going over the sides, it can, it can literally go to the edge and then back up. And you will get what you don't want. So it's okay. It's about good. I'm going to go ahead and remove my gloves for this episode, this part of the video. And I'm going to replace new ones on here for you. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. I prefer to keep my gloves as clean as possible. So you can just use the brush over and over and over again. And my gloves are causing me problems. <laughs> All right, there we go. Alright, so the fun is, gonna, is about to begin. We did all the hard work and now we're about to do the fun part. Okay, so what we want to do next is there's many ways to pour. You can take your paint and you can pour it across. However, I teach that you grab your cup and you don't have to, you don't have to put the whole paint in here. You just start pouring it in and I'm going to do about half and that's what you're looking for. You can fish, you can see that. And then I'm going to go to my gold and I'm going to pour my gold in there. So what we're looking at right now is we're looking at layers. We're looking at layers when we're doing this. We're looking at layers. A little bit of a shadow there, but as you can tell, it is layering on top of one another. And then I'm going to go to my copper color. And I'm going to layer that on top of the gold. And then I want to go to my green. And then I'm going to go to my silver. And then I'm going to go back to my blue. And I think I'm done. So I'm going to bring this to the camera. That's kind of what you're looking for right there to start off with. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and move these out of the way so you can see this correctly. Is I'm slowly going to pour it on the canvas in a circle. You can go however you want, you can go across however you want, but I'm going to do a circle out of this. And then I'm going to turn the cup a little bit. I'm going to continue to do a circle and I'm rotating the cup and then I'm going to go ahead and pull it off and just let the paint do its thing. Let gravity do the work. Okay, so what we want to do is we see that the gravity is pulling it off that way, so we kind of want to lift it off. Go ahead and put your under there and just move it around. Now, I, I got some newspaper that's wanting to uh, not want to work with me. So now you want to just kind of move it around. You can do circles. And then we want to kind of head towards this way. You don't want to 
all the paint coming off all at once. You kind of want to move it to the corners first. And now, once it gets off, you can move it this way. And so as you can tell, it's running over the white paint that we put on before. Because with just canvas, it's gonna, the canvas will actually cause it to stop. Okay, one more time. I'm gonna lift it up. And as you can tell, this gets very messy. So wear old clothes. Okay, that's good. Very good. All right, so as you can tell, I'm gonna move this forward a little bit. My canvas is mostly blue. Now, you can keep it like that. I'm gonna take my gloves off because I have paint all over them. And you're going to say to yourself, well, I lost all my colors. That's okay. There's a way to fix this. We didn't use all the paint. So you can literally go and pour designs any way you want to on this. And then we go back with the gold. And we're gonna do some other things with the gold here. So you can make any designs that you want. Now if you notice, I have a little spot over here, you can see that on camera, that doesn't have any canvas on it. I'm actually gonna pour silver on that and then pour the silver out onto that. Now, if you like it, congratulations, it looks great. But if you want to do something else to it, you can take, you know, the stir stick, you can literally dump it in there and start pulling through the paint and make ripples through it. And you still have that paint, you can actually go back and you continue to make designs. Until you're happy with it. And that is how to pour acrylic out of the cup straight to a canvas.